What is going on guys? My name is Senna and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why crosshair placement is more important than raw aim and why most people go about aim training wrong. Right before we get into this video though guys, I just wanted to personally thank you for all of the support on this channel. It's absolutely insane how fast this channel is growing and I just want you all to know that I appreciate every single one of you. I've been wanting to interact with my community a bit more, so what I've decided to do is when I hit 10k, I'm going to do a 10k Q&A. So if you guys could hit that subscribe button and help me get to 10k, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyways guys, with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Aim and crosshair placement. What's the difference and which one is more important? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. And I'm also going to be teaching you guys a great aim training routine for improving both of these. Now, I just want to say the thumbnail is a little bit clickbait because I don't personally think there's anything wrong or bad about using aim trainers. But for me personally, I think that you can get top tier aim by just playing the game. Everything that I'm going to show you in this aim routine is fully going to be in game. And I think that's the best way to do it because we want to improve at Valorant. However, if you do like using aim trainers and want to continue using those, that's perfectly fine. Now, let's make sure we distinguish the difference and define the two. What is crosshair placement? There is a huge misconception about crosshair placement where people think that crosshair placement means simply aiming for the head. And this is true, aiming head level is a big part of crosshair placement, but that's only one part of it. Crosshair placement isn't only about aiming for the head, it's also about being able to predict where your enemies are going to swing you from. If you're in a 1v1 and you're holding an angle at perfect head level, but then the guy comes around and flanks you and kills you for free, that head level crosshair placement didn't really help you there. Having good crosshair placement is not only having a good understanding of where the enemy's head is going to be when they swing an angle, but also where the enemies are and being able to read their plays. This is why crosshair placement is overlooked so much in my opinion, because people get it mixed up with game sense. People usually associate being able to predict the enemy with game sense, and while it is part of game sense, it's also a huge part of crosshair placement. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a better understanding about how important crosshair placement really is, and why, in my opinion, it's more important than raw aim. Now let's talk about raw aim here for a minute. What is raw aim? Raw aim refers to flicking, tracking, and basically your raw mechanics. The purpose of raw aim is to recorrect where your crosshair placement lacks. In other words, no human is perfect. No human can absolutely perfectly predict which angle everyone is going to be at perfect head level. This is where raw aim comes in to fill the gap and make that micro adjustment to flick to their head. It's very important that you're able to distinguish these two and see them in game. If someone programmed an AI to hit only headshots, the robot would need no raw aim whatsoever. The only thing this AI would need is a perfect understanding of crosshair placement. And I think that analogy alone should be enough to help you understand why this crosshair placement is so, so important. Okay, so cool. We know the difference between crosshair placement and raw aim. Nice, now what? Well, now I'm going to show you the best ways for you to practice crosshair placement and then the best ways for you to practice your raw aim. First, let's talk about crosshair placement and the best way to improve that. The first thing that I would highly recommend that you do to improve your crosshair placement is to use the PREMS method every day. The PREMS method is a warm-up routine that can be done in the range and it's something that I do very, very frequently. I learned this method from another Valorant YouTuber named Sero who makes very great videos for learning how to improve at Valorant and I also mentioned this PREMS method in one of my older videos. PREMS stands for practice bots, recoil control, easy bots, medium bots, and then strafe and movement practice. PREMS is a warm-up routine that helps with muscle memory and building crosshair placement. If you use this PREMS method every time you get on Valorant, your aim and crosshair placement will improve so fast and it's helped so many of my friends improve as well. So let's get into the PREMS method and show you how to do it. I have a pre-recorded clip of me explaining this, so I'm going to play that now. Basically what PREMS stands for is practice bots, recoil control, easy bots, medium bots, and strafe and movement practice. Starting from the top of the list for practice bots, what I do is basically just shoot the practice mode and it'll just be a bunch of still bots. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is 
smoothly go from head to head without moving your mouse vertically at all just getting nice clean smooth one taps basically this is going to create muscle memory for you for being able to move your mouse horizontally while not moving it vertically and maintaining head level while transferring between targets this helped me out a lot and really built the muscle memory that i have today I like to use the Vandal for this just for the one taps, but I also highly recommend that you also do this with the Sheriff and also the Guardian because they are both one tap weapons and will drastically help improve your aim with your first shot accuracy. Next step is recoil control. What you're going to want to do for this is just head over to the big target on the right side of the range and turn off infinite ammo. What you're going to want to do for this drill is just spray your whole mag into the target while trying to keep as many bullets in the center as possible. I'd also recommend moving the target to different ranges just so that you get better practice at longer ranges with your spray control. I would never recommend spraying in Valorant. It's just too random and I would use it only as a last resort and this is basically just to get you accustomed with the recoil control and just getting better at controlling it for those desperate situations that you might get into. Now moving on to easy bots, what you're going to want to do is just set the bots to easy and use the sheriff or the guardian to one tap each bot as they pop up. You might think this is easy and yes that's the whole point. If you do hard bots, the bots are going to be showing up way too fast and you're going to end up building bad habits and it's just not going to be helpful for you at all. Use the easy bots to build good habits and basically just to build your muscle memory. The whole point of this prems method is just to build up your muscle memory. I would also recommend with the easy bots doing them 30 while standing right next to the button and then I would do another 30 while standing very far away just to get your precision at long distances up. Once you're finished with easy bots, I would move on to medium bots and this is going to be a little bit harder, but again, this is just going to be really good for building those habits and building that muscle memory. After you've finished medium bots, I would do practice mode and do eliminate 50. Once you turn that on, go to the center of the range and just practice your counter strafing and stopping then shooting. Make sure you're running, stopping, and then hitting the clean one tap. This will really help solidate and build that muscle memory when you're swinging around a corner and being able to hit that crisp one tap. And that's pretty much it for the prems method. It's a nice little warm up routine and I do it pretty much every time I get on Valorant and it has really helped me a lot. And there you have it. That's the prems method and I would highly recommend you implement that as part of your warm up every time you get on. Now I want to talk about a part of the range that is highly overlooked and I recommend that you use as well. The part that I'm talking about is the spike diffuse scenario. If you walk out of the main range area and take the TP, you will enter the spike diffuse scenario. This is a really good tool to use for helping you improve your crosshair placement because it makes you actually peak an angle. With the prems method and everything else in the range, it's difficult to peak an angle, which is why that using this method helps a lot. I'd put the bots on easy or medium and just practice swinging the corner and one tapping the bot. Implementing this with the prems method will help you increase your crosshair placement drastically. Now let's talk about raw aim because raw aim is important too. I personally like to perfect my raw aim in deathmatch. Deathmatch is full of all real players which is why it's such good practice. Practicing flicking enemies and tracking targets from close and long distances helps so much. The easy and medium bots portion of the prems method also help a lot with perfecting raw aim. And honestly in my opinion raw aim is like 99% muscle memory and you just need to get used to your sense and play the game more. The more you just play the game and practice and use these warm up methods Methods, the better your raw aim and crosshair placement will get. And I think that about does it for this video guys. I'm pretty sure I covered everything that I wanted to talk about and this is the warm up that I use to get high level aim. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. I have a discord server so make sure you join that the link will be down in the description below. Anyways guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this please help me reach 10k. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.